Starting with the blister packs first, number one is a number eight, Heavy Chevy and Aqua. Look at this beauty. The stripes are absolutely perfect. The motor is a little dull, but not bad for the Heavy Chevy. This is an unpunch package, like brand new, probably blister pack or case find, I should say. Oh, I just noticed, you know, I've never noticed it says blown engines, exclamation, front and rear airfoils, exclamation and super slicks racing stripes and emblems look at that number eight the wheels are absolutely in perfect condition nice chrome on the base the body is you got light toning throughout it's got a bit of a sandy texture to it but it looks like a satin finish quite gorgeous number eight is in perfect position there the bubble has a little little ding over here and it's got a little crack right there otherwise quite nice and the decals are perfect underneath that is the heavy chevy next up jet thread two jet threads from the 1971 series this one in aqua and this one is in the harder to find mantis pack 1971 model look at that beautiful aqua nice chrome on the engine the window is in place sometimes those do fall out it has the plastic button on the back here it's got all the cars listed, and look at that, even the rumblers listed, the, the heavyweights, all of those cars. The only thing that should be missing is the 68s that did not carry over to the later years. There it is in the aqua, and here it is in the yellow. This package is a Canadian pack, so it has the little square on top there, and uh, the glossier card. This one's bent over right here in the center. Little ding in the bubble there. Look at that. Perfect stickers on the bottom there. Perfect stickers on the bottom here. Both made in Hong Kong. This one in yellow, but unreal yellow. This one is bright and pretty. I really should have opened this one at some point in the past. But now, now it's sold. Look at that chrome base on there. Wow, it's pretty rare to find a 71 with a beautiful base like that. That thing is so gorgeous. I really should have opened that one in the past. Next one up, Noodle Head. Look at this Noodle Head. I almost, oh, I wish I was doing a, a rip it or list it instead of just a, these are sold. This is a, this are, <laughs> this video is a, these are sold video. Never done one. Well, I guess I did some on some Matchbox once, but uh, this kind of new. This one, the Noodle Head in the light green and Hong Kong, a rare color, a rare find in the Hong Kong. You generally have to get it from Canada because they sold all the Hong Kong cars. This is an unpunched package. There's Mattel Canada. Sign up for your boss, Haas. Very nice. And there she is. Light green Hong Kong noodle head. The chrome is not shiny. That's kind of typical of the Hong Kongs. It's just got a dull finish, but it's not like dull from finger touching. It's just, that's just the way the metal looks. Now, if you touch a chrome base enough over time, it will turn corroded looking. Next one up, the six shooter. This one, the package is, I, it may be faded. It may have, well, you know, I'm going to say faded because the button also looks the same. I was thinking maybe it was not printed properly, but look at that uh, six shooter inside. You're not going to get a perfect aqua six shooter like that out of the blister with all perfect wheels. Got to get it in the blister. And this one in the 71 pack, Mantis pack again, but a faded color overall. It's kind of an interesting difference. Might uh, be a good a good one for opening. There's a little crack in the bubble down there. But you're going to get a perfect Aqua 6 shooter out of this pack. Here's a popular model, the T42. T42, motor on each side. Look at that beauty. All right, I'm back at it. I had to answer the door. T42, this one in the yellow, and it's pretty. Just very faint toning on the fender tops there but doesn't distract detract from the beauty of this yellow t for two in a mint unpunched blister pack with the plastic button this is 70 blister pack that this 71 model is in so that's a little more unique i suppose but they may have all come like that and it's got the square over the top there but not a canada pack it's got the large square for the t42 model and the next two up are the C-111, the 1972 C-111, both in the Mantis pack with the Drive It Gear advertisement on the package. If you've not used the Drive It Gear, 
What it is is there's a little wheelie thing that you attach to the bottom of the car and then a wire goes out here and then as you turn it the wheel goes this way and that way and the car kind of flings around on the on the on the table. It's kind of cool. I've only had one one time and they are real scarce. This is the attachment that you put on the bottom of the car to attach the drive it gear item to. This one yellow White interior, very scarce, very scarce combination. You just don't find that very often. If you like the Mercedes C111, you better look for a yellow one. You've missed your chance to get this one in the unpunched blister pack. So perfect, so perfect all around. That is a beautiful card. And also a beautiful card, this one punched. Still, it is beautiful. Look at that light green. Wowee wow. I wish I was opening this one, but I don't really collect the C111 myself. But man, this sure would make you want to. So pretty. Look at that light green. Somebody is lucky and they are getting these. And you had your chance. Keep looking at my website because there's always new things for sale. Blister packs here and there and red lines, matchbox, you name it. I've got it. And that is all for the blister packs. Let's get to the loose cars. First up on the loose cars, the gold custom Corvette. Gold custom Corvette. This one a very light shade of gold. It has the dark interior, nice base. Now this right here, that is a piece of uh, window insulation or foam insulation. I put that on the bottom of the car so that when you lay it down, it won't roll around. So when you put it in your display case, it'll keep in its place. There's a beautiful gold. Now this one, the hood is a little malformed, so it's got a little indentation right there and it does not open, but look at that matching color gold. It's pretty hard to find a matching color, light gold, custom Corvette 68. Now, this is the only one I know of, and there she is, she's so beautiful. Next car up, Light My Firebird. This one is 68, of course, 68. Now the Hong Kong cars are generally dated 1967 for the copyright date. The U.S. cars generally 1968 dated, but they're all 68 models in the world of Hot Wheels collecting. This one, a Hong Kong version, blue with the uh, light interior, not white. White is very, very hard to find, and light blue can be found in this car, but it's very, very difficult. Very hard to get a really nice one like this with really no wear to it. It's really very, very nice Firebird. Next one up, the Custom T-Bird. This one in the U.S. Custom T-Bird is probably, even though it's not as popular as Mustang or Cougar or something like that, probably one of the hardest cars to collect. Forget about the hard colors. You just never see them. I've never had any of the really super hard colors, and there are several, like Ice Blue and Antifreeze and uh, Red with a Black Top, and you name it. There's a guide that you can look all this information up. If you are curious about the custom T-Bird, I, I have a page I could send you that shows you all the colors that it comes in and how difficult they are. But the custom T-Bird, it's hard to get a really nice one like this, and this one is in very, very nice shape. Custom Volkswagens are very popular, very, very popular. Here's Aqua US, here's Blue Hong Kong. Can you see the difference? The US ones have the motor built in, the metal motor. The Hong Kong ones have the plastic motor. Hong Kong ones have the headlights as a separate bit, part of the chassis. The US have painted on headlights, just like that. Now there's a little bit of, not too much difference in the back there. Look at the bases, Hong Kong on one side, US on the other, Custom Volkswagen. This one, Custom Volkswagen. Let's see, 67. These are both, say, 67 on the bottom. That's very cool. And there it is. U.S. and Hong Kong. Next up, another couple of Volkswagens. Again, U.S. on the left, Hong Kong on the right. Green on this one, blue on this one, and a very pale blue. So it's quite pretty. Let's take a look at the wheels there. All right, let's see. This one, I think this wheel, ooh, uh-oh. Got a little issue here. This one has what I call a sticky axle. And what that means is there's no spring to it going up. You can have it set down properly, but then you set it down. If you push down, it's just going to stay there. So there is an issue I need to address with this model. Probably look how pretty it is though. Hmm. Okay, we'll set that one aside for a minute. And there's the green on the Hong Kong. It's a good idea always to check your wheels like that when you first get a car make sure they're a-okay if you got a sunroof going to make sure that opens and closes take a look at it. this one's quite quite beautiful there on the 1968 custom volkswagen 
Next one up is 68. There I go. 68 Diora. 68 Diora Aqua. This one, Hong Kong version. You can tell by the four square holes on the base. Or sh should I call it, let's see, holes. You know, I usually think of round when I think of a hole. So square, it's a cutout. Let's call that a cutout. A square cutout on the base. The Hong Kong wheels. Sometimes they're deep dish on the Hong Kong, usually on the antifreeze. And then this one is aqua. Typically, you, the steering wheel will be out of place, and this one is floating around in there. Sometimes they just fall out through the wheel well, but they just uh, the plastic changes sizes over time, and the wheel comes out. And then you put the surfboards on the back. These are sitting quite nicely on there. Sometimes they stick up in the air and don't really sit down nicely, but it's always good to get the original boards on there. The original boards are worth about $30, so if you ever see... Dioras uh, priced at like $39. Typically, they don't have original boards because the boards are almost worth that. There it is. Now, the Hong Kong model does have the high, uh, the tall fins, and the U.S. model, which is much harder to get, has the short fins. The Diora. Next one up, the Hot Heap. This one in orange. What a beautiful color the orange is. And look at the chrome on this one. Wow, wee, this is really nice. Orange with the white interior. Get a little bit of light toning on this side here. If you're displaying one side or the other, the driver's side is definitely nicer. Now, of course, the brighter lights you have, the less you notice the toning, so that's good. If it was dark, then you, the toning does come out more, but it's always nice to have bright lights over your Hot Wheels so you can really enjoy the colors to their full extent. Look at that thing, so pretty. Wow, Hot Heat 68. Look at that. Still there, no chips. Don't worry, it's perfect. Now for a couple of pythons, 68 pythons. These two from the Hong Kong, one with white interior, one with dark interior. One thing about the Hong Kong pythons, you almost have to get them out of blister pack to get them this nice. These are both essentially blister pack pulls. Now, usually on my website, I won't call it something a blister pack pull unless I personally pulled it out of the blister or if it looks like perfection. I might, you know, one of these, let's see. Hmm. Probably you just might be able to call these blister pack poles because they were pulled and there is no wear on these two models right here. That is very hard to get. They come out of the package looking just like that. In the package, they look just like that. And, of course, most of the cars were uh, brought to the U.S. in cases and then uh, packaged in the U.S. of A. Now, here's a U.S. Python purple. Super, super hard to get your hands on a purple uh, purple U.S. This one from the USA Python. Wow, we purple so pretty. Why am I even letting this one go? I don't know. That's crazy. Probably have one already, maybe two. This is so nice. This is definitely a keeper car. The purple Python. All right, now we step into the 69 models with the Brabham Repco going alphabetically. We've got a couple here. We've got the Aqua. We've got the Blue. And we've got a green, got a nice green. All of these in mint condition. Really, look how beautiful they are. The Brabham Repco. The Brabham Repco is one of the prettiest indie cars there is with the bright chrome, the slender bay body. It's just a beautiful model. Look at that, especially if it's shiny. The Grand Prix cars just do not get their due. They are so neat. Look at that. That is so cool. I don't know if they were, maybe they were just too hard to play with when we were kids because they, I don't know how they'd go down the track. In fact, I can't even imagine one going around a supercharger, right? That's why they made that uh, gas tank accessory so they could go around the supercharger. But uh, they would be able to go downhill okay, but just not through the supercharger because the wheels would get stuck in there. So we probably just didn't develop the amount of love we should have. Now this is really cool. You just don't find uh, decals on the cars like this. Look at that. I think these are actually from a different car, aren't they? Those from the Indy Eagle? I think the 48s are from the Indy Eagle. All right, that's cool. Next one up, the Chaparral. This one, green and U.S. Again, Chaparrals don't get the love that they, they really deserve because they are a beautiful model. If you've seen all the colors, they really are fantastic. Look at that green. That comes in magenta and ice blue and yellow and all kinds of fun colors. It makes the Chaparral really, really fun to collect. Although, you see lots and lots of Hong Kong's aqua and green and, and blue and red, but you just don't see that many U.S. cars, especially in the harder colors like the gold. Wow, these things are so beautiful. Look at that thing. Just look at it. 
Here's the gold on the 57 T-Bird. Look at that thing. Wow, we that's gorgeous. I love it when it put the bright lights on these things because it really lights them up. Now, this side's a little bit dark, but it still looks beautiful in this light. Look at that. Mm, gold 57 T-Bird. Just feast your eyes on that. That thing is gorgeous with the white interior. Mm, mm, mm. Beautiful. Carrying on with the gold theme. Look at this guy. Lola GT70. Or did I say... Should I say Ford Mark IV? That's right, Ford Mark IV. Look at that honey gold. Wowee. Look at that. It's got a little tiny spot right there. Little tiny spot. But otherwise, she is fabulous and golden. Look at that. That is a beautiful car. I love the Ford Mark IV. Even though I thought it was a Lola GT70, which is coming up here pretty soon. In this big collection sale, red enamel Ford Mark IV. The red enamel Ford Mark IV. This one is Hong Kong, which is harder to find than the U.S. There it is with the four square cutouts. The number one stickers on there. Real neat looking. This is how they're supposed to look like the race car. Really, really fabulous. Fabulous. How about this? The Indy Eagle, Indy Eagle again with a nice chrome, a little fatter body than a Brabham. Look at that Hot Wheels logo on the side. This is a neat car. Indy cars, oh, black base. Some of these have a black painted base. Now, why they would have put black paint on the base, I have no idea, but they did. A few of them do have the black painted base. It makes that one really tough, rare, so to speak. How about copper? Look at that copper. Wow, you don't see that every day. And there's those 48. Looks like the ones on the Brabham were from the Indy Eagle. The number 48 decals. Now, one time I saw a bunch of Indy cars, and they all had perfectly applied decals and stickers, and it was phenomenal. Unbelievable. They are so beautiful when they have all the decals on there. Look at this one. Green Indy Eagle. This one, brilliant, bright, shiny. Gosh, the chrome on the motor is almost blinding. It's so beautiful. Wow, this is why Hot Wheels collecting is so much fun because every car you could find looks different and you're just always searching for the ultimate model. And look at that. This one definitely qualifies as one of the ultimately perfect green Indy Eagles. Wow, so pretty. This one, the, the Lola GT70, this one in red, Hong Kong with the four square cutouts on the bottom. Look at that guy. Very shiny. No wear on this. I really don't like cars that have wear on them i like perfect cars or ones that at least were taken care of very very well a lot of people offer me collections for sale with used cars but i just can't do anything with them if i don't love them i can't buy them and if i do love them i gotta buy them so can't keep them all and that's how toy car collector came about because i just can't keep everything to myself i'd run out of money so i have to resell a lot of things that i find but I never buy anything specifically to resell. I've always got to have something that I love about a collection. Here's another Lola GT70. This one in what I call the teal color. And I think, I'm not sure exactly what color they had planned for it to be. Because you see some hints of green in here. And it does kind of look aqua. A little hint of green there. But look on top there. It's definitely a bluish color. So we call it teal just for the heck of it. Quite cool. They just uh, had some problems with the paint mixes. Two different guns, two different colors, and that's how you get a car coming out looking like this. Maybe it was supposed to be blue, maybe it was supposed to be aqua, but there's just a little tint of a green across there and across the bottoms, and it makes it a really cool looking car on the Lola GT70. All right, next one, Lotus Turbine. Lotus Turbine on top, it just looks green, no big deal. But you turn it over and guess what? This is another black base Indy car and they are so hard to find. So if you like the tough stuff, the hard to find stuff, then the black base Indy cars are definitely one of the things you want to look for. This one, the Lotus Turbine. Another one of my favorite Indy cars, the McLaren. McLaren is really hard to find in really nice shape like this one. This one's got a little ding right there, but I think that's a factory flaw. It might have been a little metal fleck that was on there when it was painted. But look how pretty that aqua car is. Now in my screen, it looks a little more bluish, but it's definitely a, more of a greenish aqua. It's quite nice. Very nice. Nice wheels, nice base. Just looks nice all around. And then a second McLaren in this lot, Rose. A Rose McLaren. Man, oh man, look at that. That is a neat car. And look how perfect those wheels are. You know, a lot of times the wheels on these Indy cars get taken off, put on other cars. 
and that's why it's kind of short supply sometimes. Look how shiny the motor is on this this rose guy here. Look at that shiny motor under there. Shiny base too. Look at that. That's a sharp one. Wow, we that is really sharp. Wow. Hmm. Here we have the Shelby turbine. The Shelby turbine. This one with the harder to find champagne interior, bright base aqua on this one a light aqua and one more or two more actually this one blue also with the harder to find champagne interior and one more coming up on this collection the purple and this one an icy purple very light and very even real pretty with a bright bright shiny base on there look at that aren't those beautiful shelby turbines they are really neat Another underloved car, the Shelby Turbine, most likely because you can't find some of the colors like the light green, which is super rare, and the red, and the different colors that are bright like this. Mm, just looks so nice. Trying to hold them in my hand. Look at that. Beautiful, aren't they? There we go. Perfect. Now, I should have had a couple of Maserati Mistrals in this video, but uh, I, I still have to look for those. I had the blue one on my desk a minute ago, and I can't find it, and the red one is somewhere, I think. So... We'll move on to the 70 models, the Demon in Red. This is a Demon in Red. It's a very pale red, sometimes called watermelon by collectors. It's very, very nice. I love the Demon. The Demon is a neat car. And here, here we go again with the little rubber pads on the bottom. I use that so the cars don't slide around when they're in the display case. It's very, very handy. Look at that red demon, so pretty. And then after the demon, let's see. Oh, there's another car I gotta look for. Police cruiser. I gotta find a police cruiser. Might not have that one in stock. So after the demon comes the heavy Chevy in red. Heavy Chevy in red. Look at how bright that is. Ooh, man. Beautiful stripes on there. Nice number six. Look at on the other side. Very, very nice. That's a pretty car. Bright, bright red. That one is so pretty. Look at that. Hard to get a nice heavy Chevy like that. And if you think that's nice, check this out. King Cuda Chrome. This one is over chrome. And you can tell it is so bright. Look at that body. Mm. They just took some of the bodies that they had chromed for the King Cuda Chrome series and put a little light paint on there. And so you got a very, very few King Cuda Blues over chrome. This is one of them. And it is gorgeous. What a beautiful and exotic rare car. Then, hey, if you like spoilers, anything with the spoiler on the back and the motor sticking out of the front is the spoiler. And this is two of the Light My Firebirds here. This one in aqua with brown interior. Aqua. There you go. And this one in red. This one's kind of a funny red. It's had some, I think some of the red has faded off of it, so it's given it kind of a strange patina it's a little uh, toned underneath but it's got the number five on the side some of the red ones in the package will bleed off the red but look at that thing it's mint condition this one is fresh out of a blister this one has not been handled you can tell they just aren't that nice if they've been handled oh and another one these are just beautiful 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 i got two more i think two more in the look at that here's another red this one sort of a different shade of red the number eight on this side again shiny base i have been a big fan of the light my firebird so i have a lot of beautiful ones and uh, they are not easy to find you don't find them in childhood collections anymore childhood collections are getting just worse and worse and scarcer and scarcer and so i have to rely on other collectors to get really beautiful cars like these they just don't come along in childhood collections like they used to and those are beautiful next one car up is the mantis oh and then coming up behind that is the mighty maverick and that'll be the end of part one ah, i gotta rest my voice get ready to start part two and gather up a couple more cars that i haven't found yet here is the green mantis that's a beauty and the blue mantis both the hong kong versions Witness the blue window shade, blue window tent, and a beautiful mantis with shiny, shiny bases. Some of my nicest cars ever, to be sure. Now, let's put these out of the way. All right, get ready for to feast your eyes on the Mighty Maverick. Mighty Maverick with the little fragile black spoiler on the back. Boy, these are, these are something that were not meant to survive for 50 years. Of course they're only 48 years old so maybe they were designed to go 48 and a half and then completely disintegrate who knows but look how beautiful this thing is 
beautiful, beautiful chrome, US made, beautiful blue. Look at that in the Mighty Maverick. So nice. So, so nice. This one's kind of a light shade of blue. Look at that. There's more. There's more. There's magenta. Magenta. Look how pretty that is. That's one of the more popular colors for the Maverick. And I got one more color to find. Light green was requested. I'm not sure I have the light green, but I'm going to keep looking. I may have one. Look at that hot pink. Oh, my gosh. Took that little pad off there. Hot pink. Woo. Now, the hood is slightly darker on that. That's pretty common for the hot pink color. And some of these, let's see, these are pretty good. Got a good match on that one. And we got a good match on that one as well. And there is the hot pink. Look at that. Wow, so beautiful. All right, well, that uh, will end the first half of this video, which is a collection preview, a collection that was sold rather than a collection that was bought. And thank you for joining me. And uh, come back tomorrow, or if it's after tomorrow already, then they'll both be here. But uh, there'll be a second part to this video made by me, Dave Williamson, Toy Car Collector. Thanks for joining me, and I hope you enjoy Redline Hot Wheels as much as I do because I just love these things. I can't believe how much I like Redline Hot Wheels. They are so fantastic. The only thing I hate to do is part with them, but sometimes I do. All right. Thanks now. Bye-bye.